Alright, I'm back. Well, last time, well, you saw me blow the whistle here. Which I'll do that. And we'll see what's inside. So I had to cut it off real quick last time. Burn, baby, burn. The fire boomerang. This sucker is just plain broken. I mean, it's it stuns just about anything. I decided this this particular episode I'm going to dedicate to finding all the little stuff that Warlock is hidden around the uh, thing. Kind of like the uh, bag of money. There's one right over here, but it's guarded by a Death Knight. He can't come over here where I am, so I'm just going to blow the whistle. And I've already tested it. He can kill me in three shots as it stands right now. I'm not kidding. Because uh, I'm shooting this again after getting uh, killed by him trying to get past him. Um, well, I did get past him, but getting out was a different story. Master using it, and you can have this. The Master Sword. Most powerful sword in the game. Of course, you're not going to find this or the Fire Boomerang uh, elsewhere. Tell you what, I am going to go ahead and cheat because I don't feel like having to handle him. <laughs> now, let's see here. Uh, I was pausing the video to see, you know, I mean, to, to go from location to location, but <clears throat> I think I could spend a 11 minute video on this. Because I need to do, I pr might need to do something with level 9. I was looking it over and there is something inside of the level that I can't seem to get. And I can't figure out how to get it. But anyway, that's not right now. So, okay, notice that, you know, there's stuff shooting at me, you can't see it. Let's blow the whistle. Okay. This will help you see the unknown. For those familiar with it, it is the cross item. Wow, I wasn't expecting to see him there, but okay. So he's pretty strong compared to these guys. Okay. Alright, let's go get another useful item. If anyone remembers where that cracked rock was, you know, that, that really fast Octorok that's black. Yeah, northwest, southwest, through the maze. Okay. Through the cemetery. And I'll see if I can find that um, special item that I'm talking about, another one. Don't worry, I'm gonna go back and get the, uh... I'm gonna go back and get the magic book, even though it's kinda useless. But, that's alright. Okay... I think it was over here, and... Yeah, it's up one more screen. Up one screen. Get the whistle out. And there's our crack to rock. Hey, okay, blow the whistle. And we may as well freeze him. I could, well, no, don't have to. This shield has power to deflect magic. Mirror shield. Now we can reflect those beams back at him. They're still going to hurt like a nightmare, but... Okay. Going to shoot at me, huh? No? It's all right. I'll take, oh, he did shoot at me. <laughs> and he hurt me, too. Eh. All right, well, from what I can tell, that was the last of the hidden stuff, you know, because that magic, I mean, the money bag was found in a previous video. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go, but we'll go out one screen and face to the right again. And there we are, level eight. Okay, this sword is going to help us stomp these guys in here. Of course, I'd have loved to have found this stuff before I came in here. 
I just played it by ear the way that I usually, well, not really by ear, but... Okay. See, I'm not even sure if there's a gold ring in this game, and it would be very helpful if it was. Because I have seen the level 8, and it was very dark and nasty. Very, very bad stuff was in there. It was very scary. Okay, we have one magic book. Uh, and here's what it does for those curious. See, I can shoot the beams. Watch when I shoot one now. Catches on fire. You can only have two flames on the screen at a time, so... Well, that didn't prove my point. See, there we go. Yeah, see, I, I can only have two flames. Just like the red, um, the red candle. Fire boomerang can stop those guys. And I really don't want to end this early, but then again, I also don't want to be too late, like I was on the other video. I was a couple of seconds, but it really hurt to uh, try and figure out where to cut, because I think I was too late. I mean, I'd end up just being abrupt with it. And that's not something for you guys. I and mean, that's not right at all. I would rather de devote a video or two to level 9. And really, I need to see if I can fix that problem, if if it's really a problem. If there's some way of getting to it, then I want to be able to find out. But from what I could tell, unless you can walk through the wall, there's no way to bomb into it. Um, I didn't see any flags about it. Uh, but you do need it in order to beat the game. And it's very, very possible that it cannot be beaten without some modifications, kind of like the bombs that I had. Um, there is one more secret, but I might have to fix that. Oh, and can you believe that I never bombed here? This is a money spot. Yeah, 30 rupees. This is one of my main ones that I check all the time. It's a secret to everybody. Very unusual that I missed that throughout this whole run. Usually, yeah, that's one of my main ones I check. So, I don't know. Take any road you want. Okay, I got this one. Eh, well, let's see if we can pick up a few more things along the way, or uncover a few secrets, like this one, for example. Buy medicine before you go. Yep, I got it at the office, so... We've already been through here. Uh, there was a little something extra that I noticed at level 5. So let's see if we can get there pretty quickly. We'll see where we're at. Level 1. Okay. Um, this part's... Got, well, no, I can run there. Otherwise, I would have blown the whistle four times in a row on the same screen, and it would have taken me to level five. But you can do that. You can also reverse your course. It is controllable if you know how to do it. Which, if I blew it right now while facing to the right or facing up, I would be headed to level two. But instead of blowing the whistle four times, I figured, you know, I'll just run there. It's a little easier. This was a little odd, I found. Um, not sure why he set this, and it's probably just going to put us into level 5, but we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll get him out of the way. Now, I don't know. I mean, this was odd. Huh? There was a flag there. Uh... Well, whatever. I figured it'd take us into level 5, so I wasn't too worried about it. I mean, I'd, I would have liked to known what was going on, but... Maybe it's one of those uh, double warp things or something. Because I know about setting up two warps in the same room, but... Uh, I don't know if anyone's curious about this, but I'll show you anyway. Pay me and I'll talk. 
Never! Hey, I can hit her and hurt her? What? Okay. That's very unusual. <laughs> I'm just finding all sorts of weird stuff out. And I get hit by a rock. That's great. Hit him with a rock! Alright. Yeah, I know I didn't seem to get very much done, but and I apologize for that, but I'm going to have to see what's going on with that particular thing. I can show you the entrance to uh, level, to the level, though. There is something special here, but it's broken. Blow the whistle. Kaboom. Yeah, I think he meant super bombs here, but I'm not sure. It just seems right, though, that that would be super bombs. Just never got set. So, well, right here. Um, I gotta end it. <laughs>